love will abide Take things in stride God. Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are watching episode 3 of The Last of Us and today we are getting Bill, y'all. I am super excited to see him. Nick Offerman is playing that role and we're also getting Frank, played by Marie Bartlett, who just won an Emmy for White Lotus. So this is gonna be awesome, y'all. I cannot wait to watch it. Now let's get right to it. Thank you all so much for being here and this is my reaction to episode 3 of The Last of Us. Oh. No oh, intro scene, okay. I was kind of hoping for another background moment, but I guess we're not getting that this episode. Hopefully they continue because I really enjoy them. What is that, like a memorial? I guess he's grieving Tess in his own way. Look, I've been thinking about- I don't want your sorry. I wasn't gonna say I'm sorry. You oh. needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. Don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Wow, Ellie? He's not wrong, though. And he knows it. Interesting, I like that. She really wants a gun, you know, huh? This is just the two of us. I was thinking I should. No. Give it up, girl. <laughs> Your time will come. Be patient. Earn that trust. Bring back a minute. I gotta grab some stuff I stashed. Stashed? Why do you have stuff stashed here? Oh, they do such a great job of making everything look like the game. You Arcade ever game. This one? I had a friend who knew everything about this game. Dude, yes. They kept this in. You forgot where you put your stuff. No. I'm just zeroing in on it. It's been a couple of years. Okay. I kind of like this because in the game you find random supplies all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. So having stashes actually does make sense, right? Oh, be careful. Oh. Patch. You should tell him first, though. What is she, what is it? I swear to God, if it pops out. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. That's an interesting dynamic here. I never thought about that. Okay. Now you leave. Oh, he's buried in, under the rubble. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, look at the details up close. Awesome! Oh, she's doing what the doctor did. The scientist. That fungus. <laughs> Holy crap. Not much ammo out there for this thing. Makes it mostly useless. Well, if you're just gonna leave it there. <laughs> Ellie, please. No. <laughs> How did it even start? If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? Does he know? There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Bread, cereal, pancake mix. That theory was right. That's funny. What is it? Like mass graves? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. If there was room. If there wasn't. They just killed you? That is wild. Oh, my God. Kids. Oh, oh no! Oh no, we're gonna see it! Here it is, and I was wanting! Oh, it's Bill's town! He's watching this happen! Not today, you New World Order jackboot fucks. <laughs> Bell! So that's how he survived. That's how they got rid of the rest of his town. 
So this is the Bill backstory. Oh, dude, he's loving it. <laughs> Looting. I love that. Oh, hell yes. Suck up. My God, he had it all figured out. Oh. Shooter. Frank. Right? It has to be. Oh, no, it's not Frank. It's uh, infected. Oh, we're going to see how the traps in action. Damn. It's like his own little private QZ. Four years later. Look how far he came. Oh, something from the trap. Frank. Baltimore QZ? It's gone. Murray Bartlett. Hello. My name's Frank. Oh, yeah? Here's the thing, Frank. If I feed you, then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. Worse. And this is not an Arby's. Well, Arby's didn't have free lunch. It was a restaurant. <laughs> you know what he meant. Can I have five more minutes? Sure. Sure. Thank you. This is amazing. I bet it's been a while since having a hot shower, right? I don't want to leave. I want to stay. What is that look? <laughs> I think he's suspicious of everyone. That lamb? What? And you get wine on top of that? Dude. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. Ah, okay, rabbit. <laughs> the guns. At the ready. Is it antique? 1948. Wow. He's gonna play. Oh my it's my favorite. Oh, dude, I'm here for it. <laughs> A little rusty, but it's still good. And no, 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 thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not. Why not? He's gonna play. Love will abide. Take things in stride. Oh my God. But I don't know what it means. Get Frank. He's so touched. Done everything I know to try and make you. I'm gonna I cry for a long, long time. <laughs> it was amazing, incredible. Wow. I think. God. Oh my god. He's gonna push him away, isn't he? Than Frank. Go take a shower, Bill. <laughs> Go take a shower? For what? Hmm? That was amazing. That scene was incredible. Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh my god. Nick Offerman, Marley, Murray Bartlett. Phenomenal. Have you ever done this before? Not with anyone? This is the first time. If I do this, I'm going to stay for a few more days. Is that okay? Yeah. I bet it is. <laughs> he's not using him though, right? Still concerned about that. Even though he says he's not. 
You never really know. Like how good Bill has it, you know? We want to leave this place. Oh, fuck you! Oh. Come on! Hey! Three years later, drama? You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! <laughs> well, yeah, now, but no. not then. I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower, that's all. Man. If you say resource management, so help me, I will run through one of your tripwires. He's a Lou Goblin, doesn't want to waste. Paying attention to things. It's how we show love. He wants it to look nice. Are we hosting formal garden parties now? No. But we are going to have friends. More people. Tess and Joel. I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. Yes. You what? <laughs> She's very nice. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you do this? <gasps> we get Tess again. Oh, of course he has the gun. I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm not schizophrenic. Oh no. This is so interesting because they are in, they have a lot in common and so do Tess and Frank. Tess, I want to show you something. Excellent. No. I have been wanting to see inside. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank! <laughs> Frank! Oh, calm down. Books, medicine, machine parts. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Oh. And you want resources too. So here's a solution. This idea that we should, oh, what are they doing? Uh, these codes for the radio in case anyone's listening. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, what? Oh, they're like besties now. But sooner or later, there will be raiders. And they'll beat that fence and your tripwires. True. We need supplies. We'll be fine. So you're not. Is he going to eat those words? <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! I traded Tomatoes? Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Which gun? A little one. <laughs> Which gun? <laughs> oh, strawberries! Oh, that's awesome. That taste after so many years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got some whipped cream, by chance? I was never afraid before you showed up. Oh my god. What a line. No, I found the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bill, <laughs> getting right to it. But we can blame him, honestly. Frank is hot. Oh no, is it gonna happen, Raiders? Yeah, here they come. Oh shit! Oh my god! Blow torches? Oh my god, y'all better get ready. Bill! Bill! Where is he? Dude, if Frank dies because Bill didn't listen to Joel. Bill! Bill! No, you're out of the Bill open! Died! Oh my god! Be careful! I got you. I got you. God, there's so many of them. What the hell? Oh my god. That is not good. Do you think he's gonna die? Joel. Uh-huh. You can't be here alone. I'm not alone. He thinks he's gonna die. Wait a second. Wait a second. He doesn't die, does he? He just passed out, right? Bill? Oh my god. He's alive. He saved him. Let me bring it inside. Wait. Frank is in a wheelchair? Okay. There we go. Frank is dying? Oh no. Is 
They grow together. Love that. I think Frank might be getting tired of not being able to take care of himself. But look at Bill, he doesn't mind. He'll do anything for him. Oh? What's he doing? I'm exhausted. God damn it. Got it by himself. I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh? Bill. He doesn't want to let him go. Oh my god, I can't handle this. If he sings again, I'm going to cry. A lot. I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. One last day. We'll get married. And you cook a delicious dinner. Uh, my heart is and you'll breaking. Crush all these up. Put them in my wine. And I will fall asleep in your arms. That's how he wants to go. Do you love me? Oh God. Then love me the way I want you to. He wants to go out with dignity, right? I get that. I 100% get that. They really expanded beautifully on Bill and Frank's story. This is not in the game at all, if you can tell. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. And uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> getting married. Is Bill going to be able to let him go? It's probably at the end of that first day. Did he make him rabbit again? I cannot. <laughs> Same wine? <laughs> Never gets out, I guess. They're doing this. I was trying to hold it together until. Yeah, drink your wine too. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. Wait. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. Did he take the pills too? I do not support this. He did! Oh, I should be furious. It's incredibly romantic. <laughs> They're going out together. What? Oh my god. I did not see this coming. Wait, so are Joe and Ellie going to show up to no one alive? Are you back? Joe and Ellie? Dude, that's wild. What a change. He wrote him a letter. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill. <laughs> I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. 
But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfuckers who stand in our way. That's what you needed to hear in regard to Ellie, right? What? Keep Tess safe. Oh, that's right. It was about Tess, not Ellie. But now it could mean Ellie. It mean it could still mean something. Stay here. Oh man, that hit him in the heart. Did he leave him? What is it? Big ass truck? Yes. What's wrong? Oh. You thought the parts are missing? To build the battery? I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble and I'm heading out there to find him. Call me. He used to be a firefly. Next mission. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess, ever. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. Rule three. We're doing this. Do what I say when I say it. What you say goes. Perfect. We grab what we can. Oh, hell yes. All that supplies bill it has down there in that bunker. Take it off. Dude. No. <laughs> There's all of them. Just one, a little one. What? Try the gun. No. You better not hide that from him. Ellie. Oh, Lord. Why well, don't you look pretty? Girl. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Maybe you should come in clutch at that gun, right? Hopefully not shoot Joel. But save his ass. Then he'll know and learn. That she can be trusted? Seatbelt. He doesn't know what that is. <laughs> That's so funny. Seatbelt. <laughs> so cool. Imagine being in a truck for the first time at like 14 years old. This is good. This is Linda Ronstadt. A song. You know who Linda Ronstadt is? You know I don't know who Linda Ronstadt is. Time to learn. So in the end, well then Frank. They did, good, they did good here in so many ways, and now they've helped Ellie and Joe move on. Bro, the window. That's a call out to the game. I'm gonna love you for a long, long. <sighs> Amazing. All right, y'all, that was episode three of The Last of Us. And this episode was truly, truly special. Um, a major departure from the game. In the game, for those of you that don't know, we never really meet Frank. We, the only time we see Frank is when he's already dead. He hung himself in the game. And what we learn of what was of Bill and Frank's relationship was not good. It seemed very toxic. So I was kind of expecting this going into this episode. Which is why I wasn't very trusting of Frank at the beginning, and I wasn't sure if he was going to use him or not. But then it became something else, something very beautiful, in contrast to all the ugliness that was out there, right? And, um, <laughs> I am blown away, not only by the storytelling, the writing, the direction, but the performances by Nick Offerman and Murray Bartlett in this episode. Truly special, extraordinary. I am very pleased with the direction they went in with what their stories um while i am a little i don't know i don't, I don't want to say disappointed maybe a little sad that we didn't get to see joel ellie and bill interact like they did in the game because in the game <laughs> bill and ellie do not get along they are constantly bickering it's hilarious it's funny but um honestly i think i'm okay with them going this route instead because it was much more poignant it was beautiful and it was such a wonderful characterization of how love could work in this type of world you know and for joe in the end you saw that when you know he read that letter from bill and bill was saying you know my life became about protecting someone that's what that's what pushed me forward so protect your someone which he meant 
he meant Tess in that situation because he thought Tess was still alive. But I think Joe took it as a, okay, fine. You know, I didn't, I didn't save Tess. I didn't save my daughter, but I can still save Ellie. I can still save this girl and get her to where she needs to go and fulfill this mission. And now he's off this, to, 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 this to find Tommy and to hopefully do that. So, um, man, what a beautiful episode. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy with it. Ugh. Dude, I'm just in love with it. I have to watch it again because, man, was it... Like I said, it was amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like the video and sub to the channel. More reactions are coming soon. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Adios.